Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are playing Uplink. Way back in the heady days, released August 23rd, 2006. Developed and published by Introversion Software. You play an Uplink agent who makes a living by performing jobs for major corporations. Your tasks involve hacking into rival computer systems, stealing research data, sabotaging other companies, laundering money, erasing evidence, or framing innocent people. This is marked as a hacking strategy game so at this point uh given the way it's tagged not sure if this is more of a hacking puzzle game since it's hacking strategy or a hacking simulator we'll uh we will go and proceed as if this were a hacking puzzle game Welcome to the Uplink Public Access Server. Uplink Corporation maintains the largest list of freelance agents in the world, and we have operated for the last decade with a flawless record of satisfied customers and successful agents. Our company acts as an anonymous job center, bringing corporations together with agents who can work for them. Our company also provides rental of essential gateway computers to all agents, which allow unparalleled security in a high-risk environment. You are here because you wish to join this company. Uh, we can already see right out the gate we have something of an issue here with verisimilitude. The Uplink public access server has an IPv4 address of 234-773-0666. Okay, about us. Well, what is about us? What does this say? Uh, that is exactly what I just read. Thank you. Thank you. Register as an agent. Click to register yourself as a new Uplink agent. Your Uplink membership package includes a gateway computer at a secure location. You will connect to this machine from your home computer when you are working for Uplink. You can have it upgraded at a later stage if necessary. A low interest loan of 3,000 credits with Uplink International Bank to get you started. Oh my god. One of the membership benefits is a loan? Well, thank you so much. Access to our bulletin board system, the usual place for Uplink agents to find work. You will be officially rated as an Uplink agent, and we will monitor your progress. As your rating increases, you will find new avenues of work become available. Okay. Uh, any more personal details in the event of you being charged with, an, with illegal operations? Our corporation will be forced to disavow all knowledge of your actions. However, you will be safe from arrest, as your real-world address will never be stolen. Uh, fill... Oh, here we go. Fill this in. Ouch. All right. Well, of course, I will enter my real legal name, Mike Dickhertz, and my password, of course, one no one will ever guess, and we are done. Uplink Corporation has offices around the world. Please select a nearby location for your gateway. You will dial into this location when you use Uplink. I can't help but notice we have three of them in the United States. We've got one in Moscow, the UK, Hong Kong, and Tokyo, and Sydney. None of these are locations where if I were conducting this music is getting insane. I have no idea what the mix is like, but it just got so much louder. Hopefully you can still hear me. Anyway, none of these are locations where if I was running a clandestine hacking ring that I would uh, be anywhere near based in because all of these locations have fairly strong uh, cybersecurity laws, um, at least within, you know, domestic borders. Uh, Moscow um, cares a lot about cybercrime within its borders, uh, but, you know, as long as Moscow is not hurt by it, they don't really care so much. <laughs> but Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, London, Sydney, uh, and Tokyo, certainly uh, extradition countries strong cybersecurity laws, or at least cybersecurity laws on the books that are enforced. And of course, in uh, Hong Kong, well, maybe not Hong Kong necessarily so much as with the rest of mainland China there, uh, obviously uh, very strong cybersecurity laws. Again, uh, like, like Russia, uh, tend not to care if it's happening to others, more if it's happening to them within their own borders. But I suppose under the circumstances, uh, let us choose Moskva. Registration is now taking place as part of your membership. We will assign you a gateway computer system in your chosen server room. This will act as your jumping off point to the rest of the net. When you log in, you will do connect directly from your home computer to this gateway. Uh, is this not what I exactly read before? No. Should any of your actions... Yes, we did read that. Rental of your gateway computer will cost you 300 credits a month. Well, thank goodness you gave me that 3,000 credit loan. 
Jeez, I'm starting to think that this might be some kind of company store type situation, but let's not look too much into it. I mean, uh, they, they're definitely on the up and up. We should trust them implicitly. They're the experts overall. Downloading uplink operating system. Well, that's something of a uh, oxymoron there, isn't it? Uh, I didn't read all that. Uplink operating system successfully started on Gateway. Okay, let's get started. Your Gateway computer has been successfully set up and will accept your only username and pass only your username and password in the future. When you next start Uplink on your home computer, you will be connected automatically to this gateway in your email. You will find a message from Uplink Corporation with some useful IP addresses. You will also find Uplink Test Mission, which will allow you to practice hacking. Would you like to run the tutorial? Uh, yeah, I am a first-time user, and you are recommending it, so I would love to do that. Welcome to the Uplink tutorial. This program should help you get started. Click Next to continue. First things first, you can move this tutorial on the screen by left-clicking in the title bar. And okay. Oh, I see. You have to left-click and then release and then right-click to put it down again. That's a lot, but all right. We're going to start by looking at some of the facilities available on your screen. Click on the flashing hardware button. Now that's down here. Okay. This screen shows the status of your gateway. Your gateway is the link between your home PC and the rest of the net. We are working with a 60 gigahertz CPU bandwidth of... Okay. One... I don't know what that signifies. Oh, that must be... It's not a B, but memory capacity... Hmm, okay. <laughs> so the B in in, in megabyte or gigabit is <clears throat> is bits. I don't know what GQ is, but whatever. Maybe this is some kind of quantum computing thing and it's gigaquants or something like that. It is possible. We can actually physically see the components. There's a power supply unit, so we can't actually get any information about them, but we can see them and we can highlight them, so it's that. Okay, and next. In reality, the gateway is a computer sitting in one of our offices. You'll dial into this gateway automatically every time you start uplink. At the moment, your gateway, is, uh, although you're charging me to use it, 300 credits a month. At the moment, your gateway is very basic. It has a slow processor and very little memory. You'll be able to upgrade later. Okay, let's see if we even get that far. Click on the flashing memory banks button right there. This screen shows all the files you have stored on your memory banks. At the moment, you only have this tutorial and a couple of file utilities. Tutorial there file copier. Well, I mean, I, I do have to say, oh, gigaquads. So, doesn't really answer my question, but at least now I know what Q stands for. Um, gigaquads. Gigaquads. Uh, could be, maybe it is some kind of quantum computing system, quantum computing system where each bit is represented by, uh, Let's see, quant uh, it's, I'm not uh, hardly an expert in this area. But let's see, we would have, um, yeah, four. There would be, be four stateful outcomes in a quantum bit. So, yeah, that could be what they're talking about. But what I do like about what they have going on here is when we're looking here at the memory bank, we do have essentially what seem to be analogs for sectors. And we do have certain items on the disk that spawn multiple sectors. So I do appreciate that. And that is... That is, uh, that is what you see. Uh, the screen shows... Okay, okay, yeah, gotcha. Click on the flashing personal status button. I don't have that. Oh, it's down here. Ratings. Grade 16 uplink. Uplink agent. Rating registered. Neuromancer. Unofficial rating neutral. Criminal none. These reflect your skills and success and will no doubt increase with time. No doubt indeed. As your rating increases, you'll find more interesting and profitable venues of work become available to you. Click on the flashing finance button, the dollar sign. Uh, okay, that's my balance, 3,000 credits. Uh, account number, bank, IPv4 format, still not an IPv4 address. And balance, 3,000 Cs. Final button allows you to compose a new email and send it. We don't need to do this at the moment. Okay. The big button to the left allows you to run the software tools on your gateway. You can start... That's this here. You can start any program from here. These two boxes show the date and time. Okay, up here. Date. Time. It's 2010. The future is here. 
these buttons can be used to accelerate time. This is useful when you're waiting for something to happen. This column shows all currently running programs uh, here. And how much CPU time is used by each. You can see this tutorial program in the list. That's all we get. Okay. Bring up the global communications screen by clicking on the world map. The screen allows you to set up long distance connections that bounce around the world. You make extensive use of the screen. Okay. We'll come back uh, here later. Click the close button to return. All right. New emails will queue up in the bottom right of the screen. Click on the email to read it. That's down here. Your details have been entered into our account. Congratulations, you're now an officially rated Uplink agent. We recommend you complete the Uplink test mission before attempting any real work. Your first stopping off point should be the Uplink internal services system. Once there, log in and click on help, followed by getting started. Okay, links include. Um, all right, gotcha. You're emailing me my credentials in plain text. This is terrible. Um, okay, you should take the time to read it at some point. Okay, as well as mail, you'll get missions coming at the bottom right of the screen. That's down here, I'm guessing. Okay, gain access to the Unplink test machine by breaking the outer security layer. Access the file server and download the target file. Uplink test data. Remove any traces of your hack. Return the data to us at an, at, uh, an address internal at uplink.net. So on and so forth. Okay. The screen shows you all the information you need on how to complete the mission. You should always study this in depth before beginning work. Okay. You'll learn how to complete missions like this in part two of the tutorial. For now, click the close button. Okay. Close. No, not skip. Close. All right. This will be your first opportunity to hack into a real computer system with real defenses. There's no point in trying to hack a real computer system until you can do the uplink test in your sleep. You will be traced during your attempts, so remember to monitor the communication lines. However, no action will be taken against you should you be traced. Hint, never correct directly to your target. Bounce your connection around the world. It will make you much harder to track and give you longer to complete your work. Remember that you will leave logs on the computers you use as relays, which can be traced back to you. Ideally, your connection should use a computer, which allows uh, easy... It allows you easy and risk-free log access so you can erase your tracks without fear of punishment. So this is true. I mean, if you're connecting through proxies or uh, VPN services or whatever, I mean, VPNs generally market themselves as being um, strong on privacy, which means that they don't keep logs or don't keep any logs that could possibly be used to trace you, but you never really know, um, you know, unless you look yourself. Otherwise, it's just a contractual obligation between... Uh, you and them. Um, which is actually why I like it when VPN services get breached, because then we find out for sure whether or not they're keeping logs. Right? Um, so yeah, this is this part's true. Let's start the test. Uh, name. Um... Oh, wait, is it's not the... Oh, wait, internal services system. Uh, that's this. Nope, this is right here. Uh, a plane. I can't... Okay, which one am I supposed to be connecting to again? Uh, this is the uplink internal services system. This is the test machine. All right. What is okay? This is a close button. What does this do? Well, that takes us all the way back. If you are registered A. Okay. All right. So that closes the gateway interface. Okay. Uh. All right. And then. Uplink test machine, is that all we're attempting to do? Alright. Then, uh, which one is it? This one? File. Or is this. Okay, I don't have a terminal. 
run. Oh, that's right. This button is to run. So, okay. um, let's see. Security, log deleters, trace trackers, etc. Crackers, password breakers, decryptors. I don't have any of those. Bypassers, proxy bypass, firewall bypass, land tools, land scan, land probe. What's under other? Oh, that's the tutorial. Okay. Um, did I miss a part of the tutorial? Well, hold on. Let's see what else we got. The only uh, the only utilities that we have here is file copier and file deleter. So, um, yeah, we already saw this. Yes. No. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, we already saw this. Memory banks, personal status, yes. Finance, we saw. Communication screen, we saw this. It seems like we were successfully able to connect here. Uh, all right, close this. Two emails down here. Missions next. Okay, uh, part two of the tutorial. I'll click on the close button. Oh, okay. Was there a part two of that tutorial then that we missed? Uh, we, do I have to go all the way back here? I can't. Oh, that was an eyeball. Okay. Um, all right, so this is the internal services system. We do have creds for that. test machine is where our, our does our target right i mean i can't tell because this one's flashing and this one's green um internal services system okay uh news server all right your software source code deleted by hacker okay <laughs> this is a typo can, can computer failure blamed for research loss Giga quads of scientific data. Come, okay, I'm not sure if this is relevant or not. Probably not. Mission list. Insufficient uplink rating. Okay, so this is what we get to when we get. And there's no. There we go. Software upgrades. Obviously, we're oh, or can we? Okay, apparently we can purchase new utilities. Password breaker. That would be nice to have right now, but let's see what else we got. Hardware upgrades, processors. Let's just check and see what they got. All right, seems like it's fairly arbitrary distinctions there. Gateway upgrades. Uh, again, seems like it's using the same arbitrary um, specifications. Admin, we don't have. Rankings. Agent Tequila, Shiny, Predator, Bandit, Mega Man. Okay. Um. And then we got help. Okay. Well, it seems like what we need to do is we're going to need a password breaker in order to actually do this. That's pretty steep, but... Uh, Alright, so then we go here. And that bounced us all the way over there. But now if we connect... Disconnect. If we connect here. And then to here, as we did before. Connect there. Start the test now. Can I run a password breaker? Select the target. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, access file server. We're looking for the up test data. Okay, I need to actually run a utility in order to copy it. bank. How about right there? Okay. Connection terminated by remote host. Okay. I don't understand. Okay. I can't it's following the map. Oh, that's right. You gotta right click to get it to stop. Okay. Alright. Reply.
Um, except... We didn't delete logs. So... Uh, welcome to... Okay, this is what we had before, so we can delete that. Um, congratulations on your success. Zero funds transferred. Uh, oh. Uh, you have reached the... Uh, your rating is now beginner. Okay. Alright. Oh, that sounds fine. Let's go back here. Browse search. Um, I'm going to just connect, I know they said not to connect directly, but I want to view the logs and see what those look like. Connection to, okay, I I guess that makes sense. Okay, so, do we now have access to new missions? Yes, we do. Okay, so that's how we got to get that, we just got to get that first read in order to do these. Gain access to a rival system and seal research files. I, I'm not going to lie. This game isn't the worst I've played. Um, and I would say that for 20 or 2006, um, it doesn't even show its age that much. I mean, it looks about as good as most, you know, um, mid-tier sort of hacking puzzle games go. Um, but I'm also intensely bored uh, by this. And, uh, you know... It's no reflection really on the game itself, but uh, it's not been very uh, engaging. Payment for this job is 1,900 credits. You will require 3 gigawatts of storage space. This job has been assigned an uplink difficulty of 2. An uplink rating of novice or above will be sufficient for automatic acceptance. Beginner or above. Okay. Uh, 3 gigawatts of storage space. How do I delete these? Can I get rid of these? Can I seriously not? What the fuck? Okay. Um, gain access, uh, access to remote system, copy important data files. I mean, that's what we have already done. So, accept the job. Here's the mission. What am I looking for? Liberty Labs and internal services IP there. File name lib data seven uh, seven one five nine five. Okay. Uh, all right, then let's disconnect. Okay. Um, and we'll go here, um, here, here, and then here. I guess. Crackers, password crackers, let's target here. Control, okay, proceed. File server, I have data 71595, I need to get the file copier here. Overwrite that. <sighs> For real. Okay. Um, back out of this. View records. Okay. Password. Using your password is working these systems. So I don't know if it's like a timed thing or or whatever. But Systems administrator that you have been using one of our accounts to gain authorized access. We have disconnected your computer from our system and have changed the access codes to this account. Do not attempt to gain access to our systems again. We will notify your employer and the police of this action. This was a warning. In the future, more severe action will be taken. All right. I'm already. I'm. I'm using proxies, as they say. I can only do the security uh, or the opsec that they allow me to do within the context of the game, and I'm not sure what exactly. Maybe I'm just not moving fast enough or something. I'm not sure what else I could be doing, is what I'm getting at. Because they've given me limitations in the game, and I'm trying to work within those limitations. But we do have the file, so we will send that. 
We got the money, and we're good. Okay. So I guess that's the gist of the game. You know? That's the gist of the game. We take on missions. We do some button clicking and get some credits, and it seems about that. There is uh, some things in the screenshots on Steam. Maybe I should just head over and take a look at those. How long have I been doing this? I don't know. It feels like a long time. Uh, sabotage, steal important data from rival company, access remote. Okay, this is all just data theft. Um, find and destroy, so it's a data delete instead of a data copy, but it's basically the same thing. Same thing with that. And I mean, there might be other missions if we gain more levels. But all of these are essentially the same thing. Um, so, let's see what we got. Um, well, overall reviews are very positive, really. Very positive. All right. Maybe there is more to this, and I'm just not seeing it yet. Let's. I guess. I guess. Let's try one more. Let's try a data destruction instead of a data theft. Um, hack into a computer and delete key files. Uh, can I accept this? I can't. I'm not novice. I'm still a beginner. Delete key files. Beginner. There we go. All right. Let's get out of this. And get out of this. Disconnect. Neoware Developments Internal Services Machine. Weird IPv4 address. Neo Data. Uh, 8933822 Two giga quads of data. Oh yeah, that's right. Before I can even do this, I gotta figure out how to fucking delete shit. Do I have to do a file deleter on my own machine? I do. That's fucking dumb. Okay, so yeah, I, I do what they wanted me to do. I mean, I can bounce around even more, I guess. I don't know if that gives me more time or less, but what? And connect. And password cracker. Arrow. Arrow log. File server. File. Data deleter. Uh, 89338. And we can do that. And we can go back and we can view records. No. Okay. Is it under admin? Yep. View logs. And we can get rid of. Is this also something I have to do a file deleter on? So then what do I do? Didn't actually tell me what to do to delete records. Um, okay. I don't know. Security? No. Console? Um, okay, we don't have list, uh, and that's it. Okay. Um, alright, yeah, we found you and we don't like you, got you. Mm -hmm. Reply, it's done, send. Congratulations on your success, please do not reply. You are now a novice, Mike DeKertz. Excellent, excellent, we're moving up in the world. Let's connect back to this and see if there's any new mission types available to us, something perhaps a bit more interesting. Improve our associates' academic standing. That's a new one. Oh, but uh, you have to be confident or above so we can see what we'll be doing soon, but we can't actually do it. Generate a university degree. Confident or above. Confident or above. Confident or above. Confident or above. Help us prove a fellow employee is overrated. All right, now we're talking. Let's try that one. Gain access to international academic database. Feel this person scored slightly too high at his degree. Give him a third class replacement. That's just fucking mean. Richard Rogers. 
Okay. Well, let's do then. Uh, and this will. This is probably going to be the last one. With you. So. All right, gateway here, 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 here. This is government-owned computer system. All attempts at illegal access will be severely punished to the fullest extent of the law while I'm definitely going to get caught because I have not really uh, understood exactly what is required to delete the logs, but that is just fine. We're not going to be playing much longer anyway. Star... Is it Star-Lord? Oh, star uh, okay. Proceed. Search records. Enter name. Richard Rogers. That is the name, right? Yes. Richard Rogers College Qualifications Media Studies Class. I can't actually edit. Class. Nope, I cannot edit. Uh, oh, okay. I can. Yeah, alright, there we go. Commits. Alright, Richard Rogers, if it is your real name, you logs. Okay, can I delete this? I cannot. How do I do? I don't know. Uh, land tools, bypass, cracker, security. Maybe I need to download something to clear logs. Okay, I don't care. Disconnect. Reply. Send. Okay. <sighs> Job done. Making money. Alright, I'm done. I got the gist of the game. We did the tutorial level. We did a couple of other missions. Alright, so it's not a hacking simulator. But it's kind of billing itself on the fence between a hacking puzzle game or strategy game or adventure and a hacking simulator. So we will judge it as a hacking puzzle game. Um, and as that, it's not very realistic. It's just got the affectations, the trappings and aesthetics that go along with, um, you know, cybersecurity topics kind of a thing. Um, it's not terrible i certainly you know have played worse um the ui is a little weird but you know this is 2006 so um computers in general as far as like <laughs> uis there was a pretty wide variance um these days things are a little bit more uniform um but you know I, that's about all i can really say about it is it's an okay hacking puzzle game it's definitely not what i'm looking for but if you're looking to pass the time it, uh, you could do worse i suppose I am also seeing here from the Steam uh, page here. Let me grab that for you. So from the uh, the old Steam page here, let me get rid of this. So from the old Steam page here, there we go. Um, it's mostly positive, very positive. Uh, you know, 1,500 ratings. So that, but uh, what I'm getting at is uh, if you look at some of the some of the game picks you can see uh this is similar to something that we just saw but there's there's other mission types here that give you some different visuals but that's that's really about all you could say the there's not really a lot of puzzle to the puzzle um it's just it's a clicking simulator but like i said you could do worse so what do we got here for reviews painful ui in a game where clicking buttons on ui is half the difficulty broad flat nails you are correct um but you are looking at this with a 2022 lens posted July 14th. So, um, yeah, you know, UI has improved. Uh, gaming has improved. And so has the the base aesthetics that they're aping. Um, <laughs> hold on a moment. The base aesthetics that they're aping have, have also improved in that time, too. So you, can, you can't judge it too harshly from, you know, 16 years in the future. Uh <laughs> Got the Poetry Award, Frame Someone for Bestiality. Indeed. Permadeath. After 17 hours of fun and games, I got nailed for an illegal transfer from my high security bank status part as I was in the middle of breaking into admin to clear the access locks. Okay. Well, I didn't have any trouble 
uh, with getting busted, but I, I also could not clear the logs. I'm, I'm what I should say is I didn't, I just did not figure out or, or bother to figure out how to clear the logs because uh, I didn't really experience uh, too much recompense from, from not doing it, but I've only played for a couple of minutes here. So, you know, that's right. Uh, overall, it looks like, you know, um, hello, my name is Mippy. This review is my passport. Verify me. Mippy, I witness you. Was this review helpful? No text. Uh, yeah, so the reviews seem also pretty fair. It, it, as long as your expectations are to get a hacking-themed puzzle strategy or adventure game, then uh, that is what this is. It's certainly not a simulator. It's certainly not realistic. Uh, but, you know, in my in my book, the criteria for a hacking-themed game is different from a hacking simulator game. And for a hacking-themed game, things like impossible IPv4 addresses and pseudo-future cyberpunk aesthetics and, you know, exaggerated, um, well, themes and, and topics and stuff, that's all kind of par for the course, and, and that's just fine in my book. But uh, don't play this expecting to learn anything um, any real world cybersecurity skills or computer criminology topics or anything, it's not going to do that for you, but it's not claiming to, and that's just fine. So, uh, I'm not going to continue on with uplink. It's, uh, it's simply not what I'm looking for. So, um, hopefully this is helpful to you and uh, we'll see you on the next one.